Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Power Toys for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Version 0.91, which rolled out a couple of hours ago. And you can just click on check for updates, which will start the update process automatically if you are already running Power Toys. And Power Toys can also be downloaded from the Microsoft Store or over on GitHub. Now, with version 90, as I posted, Microsoft introduced the new command palette, which is basically a souped up version of Power Toys Run. And this was quite a big feature update. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because it'll just show you more or less how to use this feature. And with the point release for version 90, which we received, there were a whole lot of fixes and improvements for Command Palette. And now with version 91, which is rolled out, which is the latest release, all the highlights that are included for the update are for Command Palette. So obviously Microsoft is trying to get this up to scratch. And it begs me to ask the question, did Microsoft release this too early? Because as mentioned, literally every Power Toys update that has rolled out since version 90 is focusing on improving and fixing bugs and so on in command palette but nonetheless i'm just going to give you the key highlights because it is a long change log first of all microsoft says it's focused on greatly improving command palette's performance and fixing a large amount of bugs in command palette and then we've got four new features that have rolled out for the command palette which you can activate by using the windows alt and space key so windows alt space there we go and as mentioned basically a souped up version of power toys run now first of all microsoft said it's added the ability for command palette to search any file using a fallback command and a fallback command in case you're unaware is a backup action that's executed when a primary command fails or the expected outcome isn't achieved so that's an improvement for command palette, the first of four. And then Microsoft says it's added the ability to make the command palette global hotkey, which as mentioned is Windows Alt and Space, a low level keyboard hook. And once again, if you're wondering what a low level keyboard hook is, it's a mechanism that allows an application to intercept keyboard input before it reaches its destination application, which I also think is a nice move for the feature. Then the third improvement for Command Palette is Microsoft says that it's added open URL fallback command for the web search extension. Now, these are the extensions that are underneath the actual search. So here you'll see search the web now that extension is has been applied which enables you to directly open urls in the browser from command palette so if you copy and paste a url in as an example or you know the url you can type it in there and you can open up that website and you can directly open urls then in the browser from the actual command palette which i think is a nice move and then the fourth highlight which is also for command palette as mentioned is you can now define custom formats in the date and time plugins of power toys run and command palette so once again if we just scroll down yeah you'll see time and date and if you click on the settings for that yeah you'll see custom formats which you can apply now so just making you aware of that and then once you've applied those custom formats you can save that and that will be applied to the date and time plugins which I also think is another nice move in the right direction so quite a bit going on with command palette as mentioned and over and above that guys there is a massive change log for version 91 and too long to get into in this video lots of improvements add-ons bug fixes and tweaks and adjustments and if you want to check the change log out you can just click on the release notes which will take you directly over to GitHub. And yeah, you see there's the full change log, lots and lots going on. So quite a massive change log. So just making you aware that the latest release has rolled out. 
if you are wondering what Power Toys is, just before I finish, just for our new users of Power Toys who may be interested, it's a set of utilities that you can use to tune and streamline the Windows experience for greater productivity. And it's maintained and developed by Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.